A snake that's often overlooked in the reptile world is the western fox snake. These make excellent pet snakes because they're great eaters, they're very docile, even a wild one. If you pick up, it'll, it, might, it might rattle its tail at first, but then when it realizes you're not going to hurt it, it's puppy dog tame pretty much instantly. But not many people keep these because breeders are few and far between. But I'd like to show you some different life stages of the fox snake because a really cool attribute is that hatchlings are more of a grayscale coloration. And as they age, they turn from gray to this beautiful brown color. And they also lose the head patterns up here. And it, instead of a, a pattern, it just becomes a solid brown color too. These are my last year's babies. I have three individuals from two different clutches in here. I found that you can cohabit or keep them together, basically, uh, without any problems when they're younger. And this one is the oldest one. He's about three weeks older than the other two. And even in just three weeks of a difference, you can see the color difference in them. So the younger one definitely is still more on the grayscale coloration than the older. But with enough time, he'll be just as brown as, as his older brother. Now let's also compare their heads. The younger one has that pattern on his head, and it is already lost in his sibling that is three weeks older. Almost lost. There's a little bit of it left. Now these are on fuzzies, very small fuzzies, twice a week. And a trick to getting fox snakes to eat, and I don't know if this also works with other rat snakes too, since they're in the rat snake family, but I've found that if you have a picky fox snake, all you have to do is take that rodent and just move it a lot. Not fast, but just keep it moving around their heads and that'll pique their interest to the point where they will eat it 99% of the time. This is the male that I had out at the beginning of the video. He's about a year and a half old. And as you can see, he is brown throughout his body, although he still has some of that head pattern. Still. So it just takes a little bit longer for some individuals to lose that pattern than others. But he is eating frozen thawed hoppers for me about once or sometimes twice a week. And he will be a future breeder in my fox snake breeding project. Here is one of my adult breeding females. Uh, she's in her cave. This is actually the fox snake that I bring with me to my programs. She, I don't know this one's age, she was a Craigslist find, but she is the most amazing fox snake I've ever had with how friendly she was right at the beginning. Her name is Vicky, and her head, no pattern at all. She does have a little bit of nose rub from a previous rack that I kept her in, so hopefully that heals up in a shed or two. Now the fox snake was named after the person who discovered these. His last name was Fox or something with his name had to do with Fox. Now there's also people who have heard that they're named after the musk that they will emit when they're threatened. It smells like a fox's musk. And to help kids remember how to identify the snake, I tell them that the fox snake is named after its brown head that's brown like a fox's fur. That's a little bit easier for kids to remember what this snake is called. She's a good size. Hopefully I get a lot of eggs from her again this year. Fox snake eggs. Let me grab these. They're, they're a decent size. She had a clutch of 15 eggs last year. And my other fox snake had a clutch of 19. I'll show her next. This is my second breeding female. Here she is. I had to take the whole bin out. This is my second breeding female, western fox snake. And she is a gorgeous specimen too. She was originally wild caught. Uh, although I don't know the history of the other fox snake I showed you, this one was found in western Wisconsin, brought to Minnesota, brought from home to home, and then eventually I got her up in the St. Cloud area. So she has traveled a lot, and since she's been in captivity for so long, it's not advised to re-release her because from the homes she had, she could have built immunities to certain uh, diseases, which if she was released, she would then pass to the wild populations. So she's gonna be staying in captivity now, but I will be breeding her this summer. She had a clutch of 19 eggs last season, so we'll see what we can get from her this year. And her babies were gorgeous. Her babies were actually the 
Um, it was it was the older one from the first clip with those hatchlings. She was the mom of that one. And this is my last western, um, I almost said hognose, western fox snake. This one is down in quarantine because I've only had her for about two months, and she came directly from the wild. A guy in Minnesota found her in the middle of December in his indoor pool room, and he does not like snakes, but he thankfully did not throw her outside. Instead, he put her in a mason jar and kept her in his house and made a Craigslist post saying, anybody who wants a free snake, take her. And thankfully, I had some friends who sent that to me, and I got in contact with him and picked her up the next day, so she wasn't in the jar for very long. But she is a very dark-colored fox snake, if you haven't already noticed. I've never seen one this dark before, so I'm really curious to see how she looks when she's an adult. And her head has lost the pattern, but it too is a very dark color. I'm having a tough time focusing on her, so sorry about that. But I think she's a female based on the length of her tail. It looks short enough to be a female to me, but we'll be probing her after her quarantine period. I finally got her, it took about three or four weeks, but I got her on frozen thawed rodents, which is great, because now I don't have to do live. I didn't want to do live with her, but being wild caught, I thought for sure I would have needed a couple uh, in order to transition her over. So all in all, the Western Fox Snake is an awesome snake if you're looking for something different yet still easy to take care of. They make great ambassador snakes, so they're awesome for teaching with as well. And I just can't say enough good things about them. So if you can find a local breeder, definitely consider the Western Fox Snake. Let's take a look. Hey guys. It's okay. It's just me. Right there. There's a tail rattle. Can we get even a strike from one of you? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're the one with an attitude. 